My name is Kat and I work for the Cooperative Heritage Trust. We own two sites. We own Rochdale Pioneers Museum and the Cooperative Archive. So today we're at Rochdale Pioneers Museum. It's known as the birthplace of cooperation because it's the home of the first successful consumer co-op. Today we've been working with high school kids to introduce them to the cooperative movement and its relevance to Morecambe to try and kickstart and inspire that creative journey that they're going to be doing with the collective. So we have brought our current, G well they're going to be GCSE art group for next year 22 to 24. We're going to introduce them to the GCSE art course by doing a collaborative project with the Good Things Collective who have really really kindly organised this trip here today at the co-op in Rochdale so we thought we'd kickstart the course by bringing them before they start in September. We're going to be doing some workshops back at school where the children can then design a banner or they're going to be doing a postcard project getting in touch with people who possibly was part of the cooperative group in Morecambe and share their stories and hopefully bring the, the past to life. I think there's um, like direct parallels aren't there with what the Good Things Collective do and the cooperative movement. I think it's all about bringing people together and I love that you've done so much community building in the project and that's all to do with the co-op values really it's about celebrating the locality and bringing energy back to places and that's exactly what you're trying to do with your project so great things great things for that I've learned a lot just by being here today about the cooperative. I didn't understand how much teamwork was involved and how they came from nothing and how they struggled and got through those really hard times to get where they are today, which is really inspiring, I think, for people, especially Morecambe and places where people may be struggling in these current times to think about. Keep going and eventually, you know, you'll get there with hard graft.